Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. We are gonna be jumping into the band known as Obelisk with their song called You Belong To Me. They've said it's going to be the most fucked up thing that I've ever seen. And that's a huge claim for me as I'm very much a gore film addict. I love horror anime and stuff like that. So I've seen a lot of fucked up shit in my life, should I say. But yeah, man, besides like the music, like I'm going through a deload right now. So like I've been training hard for about 12 weeks straight. I should have probably deloaded, deloaded at eight weeks, but I ended up being at 12 weeks. So my body's like, like feeling so tired right now. Like not even sore, just like, you know, when your body just needs to rest, like it's just like that. So I'm deloading this week, so I'm a little bit tired, but I'm I'm here, man. This music is gonna wake me the fuck up, hopefully. So, without further ado, let's jump into this. <laughs> oh At least that's Luke's on the screen. Yeah, I'm proper serial killer vibes right now, man. Well, this clean stuff. Okay, well. I mean, the song is very fucked up, don't get me wrong, but is it the most fucked up thing that I've ever witnessed? Nah, I've, li I've, I've listened to Infant Annihilator, like, that's way worse than this, so there's much, much, much worse films out there than this, so. Like, lyrically, it's very fucked up, don't get me wrong, it's not, like, happy or whatever the fuck you want to call it, it's, it sounds awesome. It's very much um, a vocal-driven deathcore. I do adore vocal-driven deathcore, but it has to be done in a certain way. This is good but it's not hitting that like craziness right now which i needed to hit so maybe it's gonna keep going maybe it's gonna get better but so far it's not hitting my craziness level unfortunately but our blessing usually always deliver man so we'll keep going and see where the fuck we're going with this I love the little um, technical elements in there, you know, but the tech doesn't the best the better elements, they're, they're, they're very cool. Though. It's actually just like, I don't know man, it's so over the top lyrically man, I just don't know what to think of it. I love his vocals, his vocal range is insanity to be fair though. Right? It's finally getting to that insanity moments that I wanted to get to though, so let's see man. It's about to drop on it. I love that vocal line, man. That is fucking crazy. Ooh, that's ominous as shit, mate. I 
I wonder who's doing the female vocal lines, man. That's like... I wonder who agreed to that, man. That's crazy. But yeah. Crazy. Like, over the top, like, in so many different ways, man, but cr and crazy in so many different ways, but I like it. It works, man. It's like, it's not the normal style of deathcore that you listen to and I listen to on the daily. It's just one of those um, bands which just kind of push the envelope a little bit, and that's definitely what Obelisk are doing, man, because that's what Infant Annihilator did. They pushed the boundaries of where you could go with what you're trying to say or sing or growl or whatever the hell you want to call it. Sorry, my camera's being a dick today. It's literally not focusing for anything. So you're going to have to forgive my camera quality on this video, man. I'll try and get it fixed very, very soon. But this was awesome. Like, musically, it was just heavy. It was just, like, awesome heaviness. And everybody needs a little bit of awesome heaviness, like, in their lives every so often. Sometimes you just need that kind of, like, vocal-driven, like, heaviness, darkness, brutality, like so many fucked up like themes in this fucking song about rape and destruction about using um somebody who you're you are holding captive as your fucking sex slave like okay whatever floats your boat i guess man but i know these guys don't probably don't actually think this i think they just want to make really fucked up lyrical content and i honestly can't fault them for it i totally don't blame them i would totally do the same thing in that position i would totally just push the boundaries as much as i possibly could while also staying true to what I wanted to do within the music and like I think like the song isn't the best obelisk song I've ever heard but it's definitely sending a message and I think that's the point I think it's the message over everything else and being like we are fucked up we are going to be as brutal as we can potentially possibly be I'm just gonna keep pushing and pushing and pushing until something pushes back so yeah and is anything ever going to push back considering? Probably not. So we're just going to get more and more and more fucked up as time goes on. So I honestly can't wait for that shit to happen. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was awesome. Thank you for messaging me on YouTube or like, you know, leaving a comment like Obelisk. I appreciate it, you guys. You guys are awesome. Fucking love everything you guys do, man. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Have um, have an, have an awesome evening day evening or night <laughs> completely fuck that up but whatever man and i will catch you guys in the very next video we're almost at 900 subs man we're getting closer to the ever changing 1000 subs how fucking insane is that man feel free to hit the subscribe if you enjoy my content and yeah man take it easy